Aaron Momani with more details. <laughs> A shaky short video taken by phone that gives a picture of just how heinous the situation at the St. Stephen's Girls School in Chumvi Machakos was. <laughs> KTN News cameraman Bonfess Magana bore serious injuries after the headmaster Charles Kiyoko hit him on the face with a fast stone, after which numerous others were pelted at him by the students at the headmaster's instructions. KTN News reporter Caroline B. and driver Immaculate Joseph also came under the wrath of the irate students, bearing varying degrees of injuries. And what was their crime, you'd ask? Being in the line of duty. <laughs> Caroline B. and Bonfus Magana were at St. Stephen's Girls School in the company of a woman whose child, a student at the school, has been missing since March. So when we arrived at the school, we met the principal who I was told was called Charles Kiyoko. He didn't introduce himself. He did not introduce himself. Um, then I introduced myself, told them what I was coming to do there. Then he said that he's not aware of anything and uh, he's not going to speak. The only person who can speak is the school's director. It is when the headmaster refused to comment on the story that the downward spiral began. Um, so as, as we get out to the students, we're also taking the videos. So the principal comes. He's a man in a black. He was in a man, man in a black suit. Then he actually picks the first stone. I saw him do that. Then uh, throws it to the camera person I was with. That is body face Magana. And uh, upon seeing that, I tell everyone we have to leave. So the principal then orders the rest of the students to chase us out. And that is where it all began. Uh, they picked everything they could see, stones, shoes, throwing it at us, and uh, that's how Boniface got his injuries. The crew received preliminary treatment for their injuries at a local hospital. Media authorities and various national leaders have strongly condemned the act by the school principal and the students. In a statement, the Media Council of Kenya said that whilst, and I quote, it is within the rights of the school to decline media interviews, it is against the law for anyone to incite and attack journalists who are in their line of duty, end of quote. A statement by the Kenya Union of Journalists Chair Eric Odwar partly reads, and I quote, This is the epitome of impunity that cannot be tolerated in a civil society like Kenya. As we condemn this, we will not rest until action is taken against this man, end of quote. Machakos Governor Dr. Alfred Mutua added his voice condemning the incident in a tweet and also stating that he had sent a team to the scene. Bungoma Senator Moses Watangula stated, and I quote, The attack on standard journalists while on duty in Machakos is an act of culpable criminality that must not only be condemned, but the perpetrators brought to book. A threat to journalists is a threat to freedom. End of quote. Attacks on journalists while on their line of duty is not a new phenomenon in Kenya and the world over. But should the quest for truth be a journey to harm for journalists? Investigations into this particular case have begun. Sharon Momani, KTN News.